King. Let's uh, look now in the office of the Boxing Commission. Boxing Commission, ladies and gentlemen, and Boxing Commissioner Chip Keane is uh, officiating at the weigh-ins for tonight's main go. And Ezra Charles is on the scales. Uh, Chip, uh, what does Ezra weigh? Uh, Ezra weighs 189. And our secretary, George Murphy, is writing down the weights. Here's 189 for Ezra Charles. Thank you, Ez. And now if uh, Barney Reynolds will get up on the scales, we'll be able to see what he weighs. And uh, Chip has to adjust him a bit because apparently Bernie's going to come in just a bit lighter. Chip, what's he going to weigh? Uh, 187. 187 for Bernie Reynolds, 189 for Ezra Childs. And now, uh, Commissioner, how about the condition of these two boys? Both boys are in excellent shape. We ought to have a good fight tonight. Well, we want to thank both the boys and you, Commissioner, for your fine cooperation. Thank, thank you, Ezra. Former heavyweight champion Ezra Charles fighting in his hometown of Cincinnati, Ohio against Bernie Reynolds, ready to go into the ring for 12 rounds or less here at the Cincinnati Gardens. Jim Bechtold is ready to bring the introduction, so Jim, take it away. This bout is sponsored by the Becker Boxing Club, Sam and Benny Becker promoting, and is under the supervision of the Cincinnati Boxing and Wrestling Commission. Officials, as assigned by the Cincinnati Boxing and Wrestling Commission, the examining physician in attendance at ringside, Dr. Walter B. Phillips, the timekeeper, Al Carney, counting at the knockdown, Sam Caldwell, the judges, Paul Pusateri, Joe Blink, Milt Conver, the referee, Tony Warndorf. The main event, 12 rounds in the heavyweight division from Fairfield, Connecticut, wearing purple trunks with a black stripe, weighing 187 pounds, Bernie Reynolds. His opponent from Cincinnati, Ohio, wearing white trunks with a black stripe, weighing 189 pounds, Ezard Charles. 12 rounds. Now we'll have Tony Warndorf, the referee, out there to give the last minute instructions to Bernie Reynolds, weighing 187. Ezra Charles 189. Here are the instructions. You know that you're boxing under the rules of the Cincinnati Boxing Commission. I want a good, clean fight. When I tell you to break, I want you to break clean, take a step back, and be on guard at all times. If there's any knockdown, the man standing goes to the corner I direct him to, and he stays there until I tell him to come out. Also, the man on the floor must take eight. If you get up before eight, I'll hold you until the eight count. Now watch. I'm going to be watching for all the illegal blows. You'll be penalized accordingly. Are there any questions, Reynolds? Charles? Yeah, you got a towel. I want you to shake hands now and come out fighting at the bell. Wipe that off. This is a big one for both boys. Reynolds, who started out as though he might become the heavyweight champion at a very tender age, weighing 187, Ezra Childs who lost the crown to Jersey Joe Walcott, failed to regain it, and then lost a highly disputed decision to Rex Lane. Charles outweighing Reynolds by two pounds at 189. Here we go for round one and Fab's Blue Ribbon. That's Charles in the white trunks on, against boy. Reynolds. Reynolds wearing uh, purple trunks with a black stripe, and those trunks will photograph dark, of course, on your screen at home. Charles appears to be punching harder than he usually does early in a scrap. As Charles fainted beautifully, he drew Reynolds in, and both those blows to the midsection seemed to hurt the boy from Fairfield, Connecticut, quite a bit. Reynolds' nose is reddening a bit. Referee Warndorf breaks them out of the clinch here in round one.
This big Cincinnati arena with its capacity of 14,000 was filled to capacity in 1949 when Charles won a decision over Joey Maxim. Desert at that time weighed 181. Tonight he's weighing 189. Reynolds doing more left-hand punching than we've seen him do in quite a while tonight. His best punch, though, is thrown with the right hand. Thirty seconds to go in round one. Charles attacking consistent with the midsection. Boys setting a good stiff pace in round one. And round one is over. Ladies and gentlemen, next week, don't forget Pabst Blue Ribbon will bring you the lightweight championship. So let's have a film right here of the actual signing of the contracts. Well, you see Chairman Joe Triner of the Illinois Boxing Commission, then uh, Jimmy Carter, the challenger, and Laro Salas, the champion, Eno Quarters, and Lou Redzienda. Jimmy Carter, who lost his championship to Laro Salas, will try to regain it. Now Chairman Joe Trotter of the Illinois Boxing Commission, and now Laro Salas. Say, by the way, here in Cincinnati, ladies and gentlemen, they vote. They have uh, a referee and uh, two judges. And they vote a must five. The winner of the round is voted five points. And if the round is very close, the man that uh, loses the round still can get four and a half. At the end, they're all added up, and it's decided by points. This is round two. Pat Blue Ribbon bringing it to you from Cincinnati. Bernie Reynolds in the dark trunks and Ezra Charles in the light. Charles perspiring freely now. Reynolds is uh, reddening up a bit on the forehead. And his nose is starting to appear a bit the worse for round two. Round two with two minutes to go. Those blows are landing that Charles is throwing, and they're landing with plenty of authority. And that's Reynolds down on his face. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it's a knockout for Ezra Charles in the second round at approximately 1.35. We will get the official time. A little late, and I'll remind you right here that we will have another bout to follow as uh, Sam Becker here at Cincinnati, the matchmaker, has uh, lined up a very fine card. So Ezra Charles added another KO to his already impressive list as he belts out Bernie Reynolds of Fairfield, Connecticut. About halfway of round two, we will have the official time in a moment. Charles now has won 76 out of 85 with eight losses and a draw, and this is his 48th knockout. Here is Jim Bechtold with the official time. The winner on a knockout in one minute and 40 seconds of the second round, Ezra Charles. So the winner in one minute, 40 seconds of the second round, 
on a knockout that seemed to be the culmination of some uh, very terrific punches with a uh, right hand that uh, nailed him right on the button, being the one that put him down for the count of 10. And uh, the way that uh, Bernie Reynolds was lying there, it appeared that Tony Warndorf could have counted to at least 20. Reynolds, however, is entirely all right. He has uh, recovered consciousness completely. And Lou Vella, his manager, is over there with him, and he will be entirely all right. Charles fighting more aggressively than we have seen him in quite a while, realizing that uh, this would be a great spot to launch his comeback, even as he uh, launched his professional boxing career here in Cincinnati. March the 15th, 1940, when he won 20 straight, 14 knockouts before he lost a decision to Ken Overland, the former middleweight king. And he later drew with Overland in a return. Then uh, more about uh, Ezra Charles and his fine record. Remember, he's been fighting pro for a long time, over 12 years, turning pro March 15, 1940, and has uh, been steadily growing. And uh, through his uh, days as a heavyweight, he very seldom weighed as much as he weighed tonight, 189 pounds. Jake Mintz is over there with Ezzard, very uh, happy about the whole situation. Bernie Reynolds is... Uh, Thank you.